Good morning, STM. My name is Alessandra. And I'm Claire, and here are your announcements for today. Attention grade 12 SHSM students who have not yet completed the CPR and first aid training. You have an opportunity to complete this training March 22nd and 28th in our library. If you would like to attend these two full days of training in our library, please email Mr. S. Silvestri at silvestris at hwcdsb.ca as soon as possible to reserve a spot. We are also offering an after-school training session. If you can attend the four three-hour sessions scheduled for March 28th, 29th, April 4th, and April 5th from 3 to 6 p.m. in room 214, please add your name to the sign-up sheet in the guidance office or email silvestris at hwcdsb.ca as soon as possible to reserve a spot in this training session. To anyone attending senior football practice tomorrow, we will be starting at 3 p.m. on the turf. Please bring your own water and cleats and dress for the weather. To all students in grade 12 interested in writing the University of Waterloo Math Contest this April, please stop by the Math Department, room 350, by Thursday, March 10th, to sign up and for further information. The girls' hockey team continues the playoffs today with a semifinal game against St. Mary's at 2 p.m. at JL Greitmere Arena in Dundas. Students who are interested in trying out for the junior boys soccer team are asked to pick up sign-up and permission forms outside of room 310. Please complete the on online sign-up and submit parent permission forms to Mr. Caterino as soon as possible. Senior badminton tryouts continue tonight beginning at 7 p.m. And now for your sports. Last night our senior girls volleyball team defeated Cathedral in their quarter, quarter final playoff game in three straight sets. The scores were 25 to 5, 25 15, and 25 to 3. The girls advance to the semifinals tomorrow against John Henry Newman. Yesterday in pulse pounding boys hockey action, your Knights won a triple overtime thriller versus BT. After being down by two most of the game, the boys' persistent effort was rewarded when Alex Ferguson scored halfway through the third. Then, on a power play with just over a minute left in the game, Eric McJura scored a beauty to send it to OT. After two scoreless overtime periods and seconds away from a shootout, Jack Orman netted the winner. Matteo Bofa made some huge saves to keep the game in reach. On to the semis next. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Did you know that in order to graduate from high school, you need a minimum of 40 Christian service volunteer hours? These 40 hours need to be recorded and signed off by a supervisor who can vouch for the hours that you complete. Wonder where you can find out more information about accumulating Christian service hours. The Hamilton Wentworth Kapler District School Board has a fantastic and informative Christian service website. You can find this at hwcdsb es.com. This website supports and assists each student to become involved to believing, achieving, and serving in the Hamilton Woodward Catholic District School Board and community. You can also easily access and find the website through your My Class and or LMS account. The link appears in the announcement tool with the heading Secondary Students HWCDSB Christian Service Volunteer Program. Students are able to view this announcement as soon as they log in. The website provides students with the opportunity to view current community opportunities, download a Christian service activity record form, provides information of approved and eligible Christian service opportunities, as well as provides the name and contact information of your school's Christian service animator. Serving others is at the heart of Catholic education and has always been a central part of Catholic schools in Hamilton Wentworth. Helping others both close to home and across the world reflects both the example of Jesus and the teaching of the church. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your school's Christian service animator or email Lucia Marchionda at cshwcdsb at gmail.com. And one last thing, make sure you follow the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board Christian Service Program on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, which all can be found at cshwcdsb. Thank you, Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board students. Individually and together, we make a big difference in the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board community. Good morning, STM. I'm Madame West from United Against Racism. On behalf of Ms. Dessa, Mr. Varela, and the whole AR team, we would like to thank everybody for watching our video assembly yesterday. Special thank yous go out to the two incredible students, Olivia Elise and Chiara Felice, who spent countless hours filming and editing, Mr. Chardulo, Mr. Marlin, Mr. Rosati, Mr. DeStefanis, Ms. Flood, Mr. Lavisa, Mr. Marazzo, and of course, Mr. Daly. All of you made this assembly possible, so thank you. 
Dis discussing racism and discrimination is never easy. However, as the UAR students will tell you, and as they've taught me, uncomfortable conversations need to happen in order for change to occur. We hope you find the time to discuss some of the discussion prompts from the video today with your friends, family, or even in your classes. If you haven't had a chance to watch the video, the link will, re will remain active all week. If you are interested in joining UAR, coming to our open discussions, or hearing our guest speakers, we meet every Wednesday after school in the lecture hall, so come on by. Or follow us on our social media at stm.unitedagainstracism. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. This is a brief reminder from Student Council that presidential election speeches are due tomorrow, March 10th, in room 104. If you've picked up your form last week and are running, do not forget to submit your speeches. Speeches will be presented March 22nd, and voting will take place right after. Good luck, Knights. At this time, grade 11 classes, please leave your televisions on for an important option presentation. Grade 11 students who are not in a grade 11 class, please go to the lecture hall to, re to view the presentation. For the rest of you, the time is now 8.22. Have a great day.